What is up guys, it's time for Dylan, back at it again with another video talking about Yellow Freight. Now in the last video that I made, I told you guys what was happening with Yellow. We all know, company's going under. But today, we officially have the news. We officially now know for certain that Yellow Freight is officially closing their doors. So last night, Sunday, CEO Darren Hawkins came out to announce that yes, Yellow Freight is officially closing their doors and they have officially filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. So it's terrible news, terrible news. Some of us had some hope that Yellow might actually be able to keep their doors open. There was news that the Apollo Group, an investment group, which has remained anonymous for the most part, had made some inquiries about the company and it was looking like for a brief period of time like they might actually acquire the company, maybe keep it open. But it looks like officially those rumors have ended. Today, we now know for certain Yellow Freight is officially closing their doors. So it's a sad day in America. Like I said last time, Yellow Freight is one of the oldest trucking companies in the United States of America, almost 100 years old, employing over 30,000 workers, 22,000 of which were unionized. Terrible day, terrible day to think that a trucking company as old as Yellow managed to make it to the Great Depression, the terrible recession of 2008, only to crash now. What happened? Well, if you guys know anything about Yellow, you know that this company has been hemorrhaging cash for almost 20 years. Almost 20 years, this company has asked the lifeblood of the organization, the workers, the truckers, to take a pay cut for almost 20 years. This company has not delivered on their promises to pay their employees fairly. 20 years. How do I know this? Because my dad works for Yellow. Or should I say he used to work for this company. Now this company no longer exists. And there's so many other dads out there that are in this exact same boat. What are they doing? Looking for work now at other companies. It's terrible. People lost their insurance. People lost their pensions. People lost their means of living. Hey guys, Dylan here. I just wanted to say... I decided to open up a GoFundMe for my dad. And I'm just asking if anyone is willing to help, even if it's $1. Even if you can't give anything, just share it and say a couple prayers for my family and my dad. Hopefully, he gets another job really soon. But I just wanted to say, check out the link in the description. If you, if you can, if you feel like it, donate for my dad. He really needs some help. So does my mom. Check out the details in the GoFundMe. But thank you, guys. Check out the rest of the video. Terrible day in America, and it's terrible for the truckers. To me, the most disgusting part of this entire ordeal is the fact that the CEO this morning comes out, and what does he say? That he blames it on the union. Can you believe this? You know, in my last video, I did give a little bit of blame to the union. And to be fair, yes, I, the union can at times cause problems for companies, especially if you have bad apples. But this by no means is the fault of the union. This is the fault, 100% categorically, of bad management. Bad management. That It's as simple as that. 20 years, my dad and other dads out there, other truck drivers trying to make an honest living for their families, have had to take pay cuts for the crooked C-suite bastards that run this company. And you already know. You already know that those, those bastards are having massive checks right now waiting for them when this company finally closes. They're not, gonna, they're not losing out on anything. No, who loses out? The truck drivers. The people that make this company work. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. The only silver lining to this cloud is finally these workers can leave and hopefully, potentially, find employment at a better company. But in the meantime, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? It's terrible. It's a terrible day in America. It's a terrible day for truck drivers. And to take it a step further, it's a terrible day for consumers. Historically, Yellow Freight has been known as one of the companies with the cheapest rates out there. Not only that, 
Yellow Freight is one of these companies that is known for making deliveries that other companies simply cannot make. So this really is terrible for the industry and it's terrible for consumers. It's terrible for the economy as a whole. 30,000 workers out of work now. Think about that. Not to mention the people that send parcels through Yellow Freight. Now they're gonna have to go through what? ABF, other companies, UPS, FedEx, all of which cost significantly more. And you guys know, I talked about it in my last video, and now I've seen all the news stories talk about it as well. What happened with UPS? Historic contractual agreement with the union. They're going to be paying their workers more, which is fantastic for the workers. What does that mean for you and I, consumers? That means we're going to have to be paying more to ship the same product. Inflation's real. It's not transitory. And it seems that everything just keeps getting worse. That's all I have for you guys today. Hope you guys have a great one. If you're a trucker, I feel bad for you, and I'll be praying for you. I hope you guys get work soon. That's all I have for you guys today. Have a beautiful day, beautiful night, wherever you guys are. Dylan is out.